Hello, welcome to Anu's classroom and uh, in this video we will be having a new session on research methodology for management decisions. In this session we will be focusing on giving a general overview of what this whole concept of research methodology is all about. So we will be discussing things like what uh, is meant by research and research methodology, what are the various research methods, what is business research method, what, the, what are the various types of research, what is the importance of business research and role of research in various important areas. So let's get started. What do you exactly mean by the term research? So the project that you undertake, that is a research. So what is it actually? What are you trying to do with your project? Well, you will definitely be taking up a topic for your project, correct? So that is a problem that you are trying to solve or investigate. So you guys are putting on your Sherlock app trying to gather all the evidence, all the data that you can and you are trying to find an answer to whatever question you have at hand. So it is not like you go about randomly picking stuff up, you know, just it's not like fishing wherein you just um, give, what you can throw your hook and then just wait, some random fish is going to come and catch. No, you will be directing all your actions, all your investigations in a particular direction, in a in a very goal oriented manner correct very purposefully you will be directing how what how much data you're going to collect from which all people in what are methods all those things it is a very purposeful thing right so you can think about research as a very purposeful investigation we are all investigators and researchers correct so this research methodology is nothing but the scientific research methods okay how you are carrying out your purposeful investigation aka your research okay so that is research methodology it involves uh, rationally adopting various methods to tackle all the challenges that you might come across while conducting your research in a very scientific and systematic manner so what you will do is whatever knowledge that you have from your various courses in mba correct various things that you have learned, quantitative analysis and various other subjects, whatever you have learned, whatever theories you have learned, you will try to link what you know with what you want to know, okay, and study that actual phenomena. And maybe at times with research is why or how new theories of management itself come into picture, correct? So a suitable research methodology will give us scientifically solid research whereas if it is a, if you are not so serious about it then you are definitely going to get lousy half-baked results correct so it should highlight these research methodologies should definitely highlight some of the basic questions of our research like what is happening how is it happening and why is it happening okay so these are some of the questions that we try to answer and so that is research methodology. So the research method is nothing but the all the tactics, the procedures or techniques that we use in collecting the data or evidence for analysis to reveal a new knowledge or generate a better understanding of a topic which we call as, which is nicknamed as nothing but research methods. So the term itself refers to all of the researchers processes undergoing when investigating the issue at hand. We have a lot many research procedures and each of those research procedures employ a unique set of data gathering instruments. So it is not just that okay we have a couple of methods you know that there is a linear regression then there is some logistic regression we have decision trees yes we know all those things but the important concept over here is that why are we using certain methods? Why are we using k-means clustering here? Or why are we going for decision tree? Why are we going for a classification problem here? You need to know. Only when you know that can you take the right decision as to which method has to be employed in under what circumstance. Only then you will get the right inference from the data that you have gathered. Okay. So researchers have to identify the logic and the la rationality of using one approach over the other and that is the whole purpose of this particular course as well. It is trying to make us know or equip us with knowledge enough to make us or help us take rational decisions when it comes to picking the right strategy or the right method for research. In case you find our channel useful, uh, 
please do consider subscribing it will help me a lot all right so coming back to our concept business research method so what is business research method it is nothing but a set of research procedures or you can call them tactics or techniques that are used by businesses that is organizations to assess if maybe the particular venture that they are trying to, uh, that they are interested in pursuing is it valuable or is it worthwhile of their time effort and capital or um, whether it is feasible to you know sustain a particular product line or it is uh, will it be beneficial for a firm to introduce new products or do some modification into their process whatever that is so all those things come under business research method so some of the key areas where this business research is used include how we can reduce the risk of uh, any particular portfolio or our business as a whole identify what all could be the potential threats to our business and uh, help us to be more customer centric forecast our revenues or acquire more competitive business and things like that okay so these are the cases where business research could be applied now there are many types of research like from the application standpoint you can talk about research as being pure research or applied pure research and is as is you are trying to find out a particular thing okay like you are just trying to find out the general trend of it like what is happening here applied research is more on the basis of like why a particular thing is happening in this particular situation okay from the objectivity standpoint it could be descriptive as in you are trying to describe some event okay or correlation you are trying to find out uh, if there is a uh, what you can say some kind of a relationship between your income and the rate of savings definitely there is but how much okay so that is the kind of um, the uh, researches which go for correlation or explanatory like why is it raining on this particular day of the year or why is it that more people are uh, gravitating towards maybe um, a savings account or mutual fund investment such kind of thing so definitely your research projects your mba projects would be falling into one of these categories okay either it could be descriptive correlatory or explanatory most often Uh, we generally tend to take either the correlation projects or explanatory projects like if there is a um, relationship between uh, what you can say um, the store atmosphere versus the customers preference to purchase certain products or um, you know things like that and uh, coming uh, to the mode of inquiry standpoint our research could be qualitative or unstructured it could be quantitative or structured or we could have a combined approach of both quantitative and qualitative now why we undertake business research again is so that we can generate new ideas or insights we can uh, solve operational problems we, it could help in policy making solving business problems uh, helping take business decisions and things like things like that okay so that is why generally we go for business research now research business research or research in general is very important and plays a very crucial role in areas or departments of business like marketing production even banking purchase of materials or selection of materials human resource development government policy making all these areas research is a very important thing if you might have noticed even the government they publicize the uh, research reports from time to time uh, it is publicly available you can just google search if you guys are interested in knowing about it and it is based on these researches and statistics that they find out from the researches and surveys that they come up with new policies new laws new uh, acts and everything in order for the betterment of the society okay so that was a quick overview about the whole concept of research methodology i hope this session was useful to you in case it was definitely leave a uh, like in case uh, you guys are finding any difficulty in the concepts that we have discussed in this session definitely do leave a comment below i'll try my best to um, give a resolution for those so all the very best for your project as well as your upcoming term and examination until i see you in the next session thank you so much bye bye